Hello guys and welcome to my channel. My name is Jess Buffers and on this channel here we're talking about hair care, skincare and all those sort of things that are supposed to make you look really good for a really a long time or far into old age really so that it doesn't really show that you are old basically so we are talking about anti-wrinkle stuff and, and that sort of thing here so uh, today we're going to talk a little bit about ubiquinone so uh, q10 and uh, i have spoken a little bit about that before and maybe you have seen some of my videos uh, about it so maybe you will have a little idea about what is coming because when we are talking about a cream uh, like this one here as, as you can see uh, behind me here as well then uh, we have this one here from uh, Nivea and I've just basically taken this one here because uh, that's the one I saw uh, in the supermarket and I thought yes I could make a, a little a point about a uh, Q10 in creams and what to look out for and what sort of issues that can actually be with it. And then uh, we have uh, this one here which is uh, the uh, the night cream uh, of it and uh, that is as you can guess maybe um, it's a little bit more uh, greasy and usually uh, night creams are that particularly from uh, <laughs> Nivea yeah, I would say something. And there is a lot of cream and usually uh, the night creams they are sort of like really uh, greasy and uh, this one here is uh, much more greasier than this one here and this one here also contains a uh, sun filters so uh, it contains uh, old-fashioned filters and the uh, modern filters so uh, yes it contains a uh, etyl hexyl salicylate and we are not uh, so uh, very happy uh, about that so uh, actually when i tried this one here um i just uh, cleaned my face and i put it on and then i realized it was in the evening so did i sleep with it uh, during the night yes i did because i don't think something will happen just overnight it is uh, more like uh, in the long run uh, that these things here can be uh, hormone disruptors so uh, yes uh, this one here is uh, as I said a little bit more greasy and I tried that and uh, yes it was more greasy on my skin but uh, apart from that it sort of like uh, felt okay and uh, I would say my skin felt uh, a bit more plump uh, the next day but uh, there was uh, another reason for that and I will talk about that a little bit later so uh, we also have uh, this one here which is an eye cream and uh, these ice creams or oh, eye creams they are uh, a little bit more like a uh, less greasy and in this instance here then i'm saying the active ingredients in all these creams here are the same but uh, this one here contains a tapioca starch and uh, that means that it is uh, less greasy uh, under your eyes than uh, some like this one here oh, definitely this one here but that is mainly sort of like uh, the difference uh, there is a little bit of variation of what is in the products and obviously there are sun fillers in this one here but there is no uh, sun fillers in this one here so the thing is that what are you going to do when you have a, a cream that has a q10 in it because there is that little thing and i've spoken about that before and i've shown several videos about it and that is if you have q10 so ubiquinone and it, uh, I buy it uh, in this one here that is uh, from uh, Bulk Supplements and uh, that is uh, about uh, 100 uh, milligrams no 100 grams is it actually so uh, that is kind of like a, a big uh, chunk so this will be for a really really long time but it's a powder and that means that uh, it is not as good uh, to be taken up by the body if uh, it is not diluted uh, into or dissolved into uh, an oil. So that's usually uh, what the, these companies uh, do and then they will say that it is much more uh, bioavailable and uh, that sort of thing. There is uh, just that little thing and it is that yes when they warm it up and it is in the oil then it is um, in a structure or it's just like the molecules just like uh, it's liquid basically and uh, there it is uh, really easy for the skin to take it up but as soon as it sort of like it cools down and that is uh, what is going to happen uh, with a cream like this so when they make this cream here it might be that at some point they are warming it up in order to uh, make it go into the uh, to the cream or well, I don't it might be that it don't even do that in this product here I, I don't know but I would just assume that as a what they should do in order to make uh, the uh, bioavailability uh, a lot better so the thing is of course that uh, when it cools down again then you get this sort of a uh, crystal structure and uh, that means that uh, you cannot uh, so easily take up uh, the, the things into your body and you cannot easily take it up uh, from a cream into uh, the skin. So that is a little bit of a, a problem. So uh, what did I do in order to solve that problem? Well. I took uh, this powder here and I did as I have uh, shown several times now in a sm small video clips where you can see how I'm actually uh, warming it up. Uh, lately I've just done it, uh, I mean you can do it uh, in your tea if you are going to to digest it but if you're going to use it on your skin you will not put it in your tea first of course so uh, what else can you do well what I have done is basically I've just taken a teaspoon or just taking a tiny bit of it not much because if you take uh, too much you will be completely uh, yellow in the face and um, even that you're doing it uh, in the evening I wouldn't 
particularly do it in the daytime. Now actually I had it on at the moment but uh, there's just a, a little little bit of it so the thing is what I did was I took a, a little bit of a mineral oil that's what I did some of the other days and so I took a little bit of mineral oil and added the powder and then I simply just took a spoon and hold it into some steam from the kettle and yes it will be super warm but it takes very short time and then it will be completely uh, dissolved and then you can dip your finger in it and yes it should not be too warm of course but when you are able to do it you can just dip your finger in it and then you can kind of like uh, smear it into the cream that you're using and I would say something like uh, this cream here if you're using that one then uh, it is very sort of like um, easy to work with and it's easy to to mix in uh, the uh, the dissolved or the uh, uh, heated up uh, powder so it becomes a, a liquid so that's sort of like an easy but if you have something like a, another cream that is uh, maybe a little bit more rigid then it can be a little bit uh, difficult but uh, you can take a little bit of mineral oil and you can dilute it in that and you can put that on your face first and then you can put uh, your cream on top afterwards but what I actually did today that is I took uh, this one here from Ambriolis and that is the uh, Le Creme Fluid and uh, that is sort of like a, a light cream so I actually just took uh, the powder on a teaspoon and then I warmed it in the steam not get the steam onto it you just hold the spoon into uh, the steam and then we very quickly sort of like a uh, dissolve and then you can add a, a little bit of a, a cream like this and that's what I did and that is what I have on my face at the moment apart from I have a, a serum uh, underneath so I actually felt that it was really really easy to, to work with when I used uh, this one here and you can warm that up a little bit as well in the steam and uh, then it kind of like it doesn't sort of like split or anything like that but I guess it will become a little bit sort of a yellowish so if you can see a little bit of a yellow hue on my face then maybe that is why I would say when I look in the mirror I can't really see a yellow hue but uh, when I used it the first time I used uh, a lot of this stuff here and I became a uh, completely sort of yellowish uh, in the face and you can just you can have a look at the powder it, if you can see it looks uh, like this it's like super orange and uh, it will go on to your pillow and all that sort of thing it's difficult to, to wash it out basically so I learned that the hard way so uh, yes there is uh, another thing and that is uh, if you have a, a product uh, like this one here and uh, this one here then uh, they're actually saying that uh, the active ingredients that is a uh, coenzyme a uh, q10 but it's also uh, something called a creatine and creatine that is something that your muscles are using uh, for energy and and that sort of thing so a lot of uh, bodybuilders and athletes they are using it in order to improve their ability strength and that sort of thing really so uh, what it actually does is that uh, it helps uh, your cells to uh, plump up and uh, that sort of thing and that means that basically your skin will be uh, a lot more plump if you are using something like that so what i have done is that i have just uh, added it uh, to my serum because uh, uh, the serum I make, I, that is uh, one I, it's a DIY serum and I add uh, various stuff that I've spoken about uh, many times and uh, lately I then decided to add a bit of creatine and uh, it uh, looks uh, like this one here and it's sort of like a special version apparently and it says something like a creatine one hydrat crea pure and that just means that they say it's a version that is even more pure than the one they are normally selling so I, I took that i think it was sort of like the same price or maybe a little bit more expensive so i took that one so i am both uh, taking it uh, like uh, internally so i will take like uh, three times a day i've taken a, a scoop uh, like this and then I have done for maybe two, maybe three days um, now. I think it's two days. And I will say that it's all like uh, can give you a little bit more energy. Maybe not so much uh, more energy for me. But if you are lacking in energy, then maybe that is something that uh, will be uh, helpful uh, for you. And it will, I feel, definitely plump up uh, your skin uh, a little bit more. Now, I am... Uh, 47 I will be 48 in sort of like a three months time so I will say that definitely something like the Q10 taken as I have spoken about it before when you are warming it up in water or like hot tea or something like that and then um, you drink it then I definitely will say that it has uh, an impact on the skin it makes your skin a lot more plump so the question is if you're using a, a cream like this you're just uh, relying on something like that maybe it will give you a little bit of a boost to the cells i mean the women that they spoke to uh, this i think it was 80 percent or something i said that it really helped them after seven weeks or, or something like that uh, they didn't ask any men and they didn't ask any days and uh, that's a sort of a thing so it's only for for women so we don't really know how it would be on a man but i am a man and i have tried it for you and i will say that actually it felt sort of like nice but um 
and I felt that uh, definitely my skin felt more plump by using this one here but that was just that little thing and that was actually that I added a bit extra of this one here uh, in the the way that I said and I also uh, added uh, a lot of this stuff here uh, as well so uh, I would say the idea about using creatine and using uh, ubiquinone uh, in skincare yes i think that's really great but it depends on how you are using it and i will say that uh, q10 in a cream like this most likely is in a sort of like a crystallized form and therefore uh, maybe your skin will not get take uh, up uh, that much of it so it's a lot better to to do something like this and yes it is really it's problematic yes I know and uh, all that sort of thing and it would be so much easier if you could just buy a cream like this or this one here and then just it would just fix the problem but I just think that regardless of what sort of cream you are buying an expensive one or one that is less expensive like this one here I think this one here and, and then I got this one half price or something like that so they are not super expensive but I'm just thinking that regardless of what sort of cream you are using if it's a very expensive cream or not that contains a Q10 then uh, the problem will be basically uh, the same and that is that most likely it will be in some sort of a crystallized uh, form and therefore uh, the skin will not be able to to take it up so uh, maybe you would like to do something uh, like this every day maybe i have time to do that but maybe you don't have time to do that so we just say uh, maybe uh, do it uh, a bit more of it like a uh, for the evening and then just maybe do it uh, once a week or something like that just if you're putting on a, a thick uh, night cream and then do the trick with the, the um, warming it up first and then you can add it to uh, your night cream and put it on. Maybe do that uh, just uh, once a week or something like that and I think that would be rather helpful uh, for your skin. It's a lot easier to use uh, creatine because uh, you can basically just add that to a bit of water and then you can sprinkle it uh, on your face before you are putting on uh, your serum or maybe if you like you can add it uh, to your serum i put it uh, to my serum because that is a diy serum so i know what's in it anyway but uh, it might be that uh, you will alter the composition if you're using it in some sort of serum that you have uh, bought in a store or something like that but uh, so in that instance i would just say uh, put it in some water and then uh, dab it uh, onto your face and how much would i use well uh, what i would do is that i would take something like this and that's this is a spoon of five milliliter and i would uh, put that in a bottle or a jar with about a hundred milliliter of water and uh, i would just uh, use that as a solution to splash uh, on my face and let it sink in and then i would put on my uh, serums and definitely I think that that is something that will uh, be helpful uh, for your skin. I think you will be able to see they will be uh, a little bit more plump. But uh, yes, I would say that if you are a little bit older like I am, then uh, I would say that uh, maybe it's a good idea to, to take it as a, as a supplement uh, as well. So uh, that is uh, what I am doing. So I'm both taking Q10 and uh, creatine uh, internally and I'm putting it uh, on my skin externally. So uh, yes, uh, those were the words. Is uh, this something I will uh, buy as sort of like a, again and again and again? Uh, I don't really think so because um, I think it's much more uh, financially uh, clever to uh, use uh, something like this and then mix it uh, in that one here and then uh, add it uh, onto your face because basically what they're saying is that the active ingredients in these creams here that is uh, creatine and uh, ubiquinone so uh, q10 so uh, yes um, if you'd like to see more of this sort of uh, videos please subscribe to the bell and do those things you do in order to be notified when i upload more of this sort of videos thank you for watching see you bye